Hey guys, I wanted to do a little tutorial today on doing green screen uh, video with ScreenFlow, which I've only actually just discovered um, last week when I was looking through the sort of video content on here that you can actually do chroma key or green screen or blue screen um, within ScreenFlow. So this is my first attempt at it. We'll see how it goes. Just to explain briefly, the setup is I've got my green screen um, fastened physically to the wall. It's just a screen that came with a, a stand, so I've got a drape kit really. But I've found the results were a bit tricky when I was using Adobe Premiere Pro. And I've found it's a lot easier, both in terms of space in my little office here, and also the, the results if you can stretch the screen out. And actually what I've done is actually screwed it onto the wall with some washers and some screws. So I've got it nice and tight, right flat against the wall. So uh, that's me on one side. What I'll do is I've got the camera and my two studio lamps set up on the other side facing the green screen. And I'll just set that to record. I've got an automatic start stop thing for the camera. I'm not using a microphone for that. It's just to see if it works. And then I'll hopefully be able to use ScreenFlow after I've shown you the results and then go through exactly what I did. So uh, I've just got the camera facing me and two lamps either side of that. Um, quite bright studio lamps facing down the way so that if there's any shadows, they won't appear in the actual video, hopefully. Um, so that's the plan. And let's see how it goes. So here we go, just the initial test of the green screen with the black up, black is blind down, just the two studio lamps, one on either side, pointing down the way. So hopefully there won't be too many shadows and we'll just have a look and see how we can do this on screen flow with um, just some kind of random background that I will find uh, and put in there. Okay, so that seemed to go actually really pretty well um, and I'll just try and show you exactly what I did to achieve that effect. So this is the recording that you've just seen. So there's the little introduction of me and then there's just very briefly I just put in the what I filmed of me in front of the green screen and underneath that you can see this is just a JPEG actually a picture from my living room window which is one of the reasons I wanted to, to see if this would work um, quite easily because I want to do videos obviously that have that view in the background but the difficulty is that it's so bright compared to any light I can put on myself that it's just I'm in darkness and you can see the view or else I can I can expose it in such a way that it just burns out the whole background and able to, to give me enough light so um, green screen is going to be a kind of roundabout way of achieving the same results but this has actually proved to be quite easy so what I did was um, recorded me which is this section here you can see uh, talking to you against the green screen and then I took this image and just imported that if you go up to media here you can import uh, if you just go to add media you can bring in the videos that you've already produced or any still images so it's just a still image of my living room that I dragged in there and popped that underneath so if you can imagine with green screen we're going to erase all of this and behind that will be the image and you can use these tools to um, sorry the video tool there to resize you've got all sorts of things you can do you can bring up the scale move the positions around and once you can see the green screen effect with the green background removed um, you can use these controls to sort of tailor that and then what I did was added I want to actually do it but if you just add chroma key to that um, if we, actually if I move on here I should be able to show you that and we get into the finish section so yeah you can see here I've got chroma key added to that and you can just pick the color that you want to if, if I wanted to tweak this if the results were quite good, but say there was still a bit of green tinge somewhere or there was a bit of green still showing through, you can just move that around and just refine the colour that you select for the... What's actually happening is you're telling ScreenFlow to ignore certain colours, so you just want to fine-tune that to remove as much as possible of that green screen background. Um, and that's really all there is to it. It's been very, very easy. There's a couple, three controls here. With Adobe Premiere Pro, there are lots and lots more controls, but to be honest, you can end up in a, spending days trying to get the proper effect. 
and I'm sure it, it probably you can be much more refined but if you're doing videos for YouTube this is certainly more than adequate so you can adjust the tolerance and that is basically how much of the green color you've selected ScreenFlow will ignore for you so again you can if there's still little areas of green in there you can play around with that and remove some of them you can change the angle slightly if that has any effect white clip I'm not actually sure what quite white clip means in ScreenFlow it's not a term that I'm sort of aware of but it basically um, varies the amount of the screen you can, if, you, if you take that right down to nothing that's just the green screens back in its entirety and then you can gradually use that white clip to remove it so really nice if you take it too far it may start to affect the sort of background and in fact you in it because you have to bear in mind that you, what's being affected is you in front of the green screen so um, also worth mentioning don't wear green <laughs> if you're doing this or if you're using a blue screen don't wear blue because obviously it will just erase you as well the only problems I can see and again this is something I could tweak around with I could play around with the color and these controls there are some little areas in the background picture I've used that are a little bit patchy they're not green but they are slightly patchy um, but I'm sure with um, a higher resolution image uh, I could improve that and again with a little bit of careful adjusting of these colors and maybe also the color controls um, I could get rid of that so I hope that's been useful um, I'm, I'm finding screen flow better and better the more I use it more and more of these features so it's a lot simpler than the professional programs like um, Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro a lot more user friendly and um, yeah it's, it's kind of good the thing I would have improved with this one is I would obviously have used my tie clip microphone direct into the camera for better sound on the original clip for these parts that I'm now talking to you with I'm using the, the snowball microphone rather than the computer's inbuilt mic so yeah kind of cool um, I hope that's useful to you and you know look out for more videos here and on my channel uh, I'll be adding more as I experiment further with ScreenFlow and, and use it for video marketing um, I'll add more to these so keep an eye out for them if, if you're into this kind of stuff. Cheers for now.